patch 3.17.2 sees some interesting additions to what makes up the night sky of Stanton. First of all, all you have to do is look up from one of the major planets to find the orbital station beautifully highlighted with ring-shaped navigation lights just like the navigation lights you'll find at some of the Lagrange point stations. I think this is a really nice touch that was previously missing from these stations and it is nice to see them orbiting the planets now too. The next change has to do with the landing and takeoff situation. I've personally always found it a little strange that we're always landing and taking off from landing pads. Beyond the fact that I wish that they had a little less gravity because it feels so immersion breaking out here in space, I really just wish I could more frequently land and take off from actual hangars where we don't need space helmets all the time and we're better protected from the elements. Now they finally adjusted the entire layout of stations to feature many more hangars instead of landing pads so that you will land and take off from the actual hangars instead. And this is really cool in my opinion because I like the idea of docking up with a space station and landing safely inside where I can disembark my ship without the need of a helmet. And this is surely a step toward persistent hangars too, where we will spawn and store ships inside of hangars without them magically appearing on exterior pads. This isn't to say that I don't like landing pads though, on the contrary. I absolutely love the situation as it is at Grim Hex for example, where you can freely land on any of the exterior pads for a quick in and out to do whatever business you have. And that's why the following part is so incredibly cool. I already mentioned it over at Reddit because a whole lot of people were left feeling a little nervous when they learned about the changes. There are still landing pads attached to all the stations. They typically come in two sizes and are completely free for you to land at without permission from ATC. You can approach them, land on them, and even repair and refuel without ever needing to talk to ATC. This is so cool and really opens the door to a quick flight down to the pad when you need it and don't care for a hangar. You can even land on it with a couple of friends and you know use it as a little bit of a temporary parking place. Finally, we see the introduction of a few new Lagrange points with accompanying rest stops. These come in various shapes and sizes, and as always, they look just as amazing as the gas clouds they reside in. The interiors too then are new. Not entirely, because they of course use the traditional rest stop interior that we're used to, but the layouts are new and refreshing. It's really nice to see Stanton get some extra love for the existing stations to get updates and to see the introduction of a few new stations to discover and explore. Great work CIG!